Southwest Connecticut residents who commute using Metro North's New Haven line could see cuts to their train service starting in July based on the state's proposed budget. If those Connecticut budget cuts that are being discussed in Hartford do go through, there would be consequences to how much service is run, at least in the Connecticut portions of the New Haven line. And it would be felt in the peak as well as in throughout the day. The governor's budget, while increasing funding for rail transit, would only cover the costs for more than 80% of the train service that was offered before COVID-19. We will go from 309 trains daily to 260. Both peak and off-peak trains will be affected. In fact, peak service will be cut to 60% of the current service level. MTA officials and transportation advocates said that this would reduce the number of trains currently offered and make them more crowded. Do you remember the old days of packed cars with commuters and families standing in the aisle? Well, unless something happens, it will be worse, but add severe gaps in service as well. But in the proposed budget, the state said that it is accounting for changing rail patterns, such as reduced ridership on days like Friday. Governor Lamont has been a tremendous partner to us over the years. He's a tremendous advocate for public transportation, has come out in favor of congestion pricing. Um, you know, so we've worked very closely with his staff um, in terms of what, uh, you know, what might happen if these cuts were to go ahead and these service levels were to be reduced. The proposed cuts would come at a time where Metro North officials are reporting ridership at more than 70 percent of pre-pandemic levels and more people are returning to the office. There could not be a worse time to make these kinds of cuts. The fact is, more and more people are depending once again on commuter rail. The reduction in rail service, which could start as early as July 1st, also comes at a time when the state is advocating for more transit-oriented development, which is building near train or bus stops so people don't need to rely on cars. It also comes just weeks after state, local, and federal officials emphasize the importance of rail service in the state when they celebrated construction starting on the Walk Bridge in Norwalk. You slow down when you go over this bridge, and that slows down commerce. That slows down um, what we're trying to do in this state. And we're going to be able to speed up um, transportation. We're going to take the Walk Bridge and turn it into a run bridge. We're going to be able to go that much faster. <laughs> Advocates are calling on the legislature to adjust the budget before the June 7th deadline and keep service on the New Haven line close to 100%. Reporting for Coastal Connecticut Times, I'm Kelly Prince.